Some say Silver Airways has a reputation. When it first started, they kept having delays, delays, delays. Then glitches online. They promised to be able to use the Delta website, which never happened. And Transportation Committee Chairman Paul Artman says the bigger the problems, the higher the cost. If your on-time reliability is not great, if your mechanical reliability is not good, connection's not good, uh, people are not very forgiving when it comes to their money. After the airline company announced it will be discontinuing its services in Greenville, previous customers took to Facebook saying, my experiences with them were terrible, so I'm not sure it's that great of a loss. And you have to fly around all day to get anywhere in Greenville now. It's not like it was when you could jump straight to Memphis. However, Paul Watson, president of the Board of Supervisors, says the company's lack of success wasn't entirely their fault. Well, it was partly their fault and partly some of the promises that had been made by Delta. Artman and Airport Committee member Carolyn Weathers says they're not surprised by the news. Well, my, my biggest fear all along with Silver Airline is what's going to happen as far as the stability, the longevity. It's a fairly small, fledgling company. Uh, they came into what was, they hoped it was an emerging market. Obviously, has not worked for them. We were not surprised that Silver was leaving Greenville. We have been preparing for this for some time now. Delta Airlines was not interested in serving the community any longer. Which created a whole new section of problems for both the airport and Silver Airways. They abandoned for all practical purposes the Memphis hub. And that was our best connection, Greenville to Memphis and then anywhere in the world from there. However, there is a silver lining. Here, dealing with the issues as they come and we have other carriers who are interested in handling the service for Greenville. And the countdown to Silver Airways final departure begins. Now they have 90 days to find a replacement for Silver Airways. There will be a city council meeting Tuesday to discuss potential airline companies. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Kelly Rittenauer. Steve Renee, back to you.